rotate triangle ABC 270 degrees clockwise. 270 degrees clockwise. So the first thing we need to do is let's gather all of our points. Make it simple on us. Let's first get our C. C seems the easiest. C should be at 1, 1. A, let's find where that's at. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So A is at 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. Last, let's find the point of B. B is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Positive 6. Alright, so we should have gotten everything. Let me just do one more double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Everything seems fine. Perfect. We're doing a 270 degrees clockwise rotation. That means we're going to be going through three quadrants. So A should end up in quadrant 1. C should end up in quadrant 2. And B should end up in quadrant 3. It's going to be in this direction. Be rotating our paper three times to represent this clockwise rotation. The first thing we should do when doing our clockwise rotation is we're doing this through the visual way. To represent a counter or a clockwise rotation, we need to rotate our paper clockwise. So, or counterclockwise. So, we're at zero degrees now. And we need to do 90 degrees to represent the clockwise rotation. Right there, that's 90 degrees. 180, our second is 180. Last but not least, 270. Now that we rotate our paper with our visual way, we're going to <coughs> use this as our new x-axis, this is our new y-axis. This is at 1, 1. So I would just go 1, 1. So that would be point C prime. Good. Now I want to graph A, which is at 8, negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's at A prime. And last but not least, B is at negative 7, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's B prime. Okay. Let's start connecting it using our straight edge. flip it over see what we did looks pretty cool um, let's just double check everything let's see if we did it right so the rules for this x comma y would become negative y x for a clockwise rotation of 270 so it'd be negative y x so let's check if we did all right so that means the front would become negative and the x value would stay the same. So negative 1 sounds right, up 1. So that's correct. Okay, let's check our a prime. So it should become 7 positive, 8 positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 positive. That's good. So our a is correct. Now let's just make sure our b is good with this rule. So it should be negative 6 negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, everything looks perfect. We're good to go.